Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I vlog daily to keep you updated on the real life situation in my country during this awful war with Russia and of course the way we are going to win together with our allies. Today's video I want to start with the expression of sorrow that I feel for two people who lost their lives in Poland because of this Russian war. Russian war take place globally, not only in Ukraine. And also, I want to tell you that Ukrainian people are very grateful to Polish people for the support and understanding that they demonstrate. Both of our countries border Russia and we know how awful it is to have Russian Empire, Soviet Union or modern Russia as your neighbor. And uh, very often we understand that Ukraine and Poland are countries that truly demonstrate brotherly relations. I know that many people have found their new homes in Polish cities. I feel the support of so many um, friends that I have there and um, we are very, very much thankful for the support and everything that you give to us. And uh, yesterday's news were tragic because such things should never happen in the world. Uh, we Ukrainians have to some extent got used to the numbers of the people killed during war. But this is so abnormal when you realize that these people could live normally, continue their lives, uh, I don't know, bring up their children, develop their countries or just eat tasty food. But they were killed because of a crazy Putin dictator who was nourished by his own Russian society. This is a true tragedy. Every life lost in this useless, unjust war is a tragedy. And we don't have to forget about that. And even peaceful countries like Poland can be affected because Russia is a terrorist state. I know it is not 100% clear what happened, but I'm very grateful for, to world politicians, starting from Councillor Scholz, the Prime Minister of the Netherlands and of Italy, and a Polish uh, president and a government who speak that no matter whose missile that is, whether it is Ukrainian air defense or Russian missile, we are to blame Russia. Yesterday, Russia spent almost $1 billion, $1 billion on the uh, missile attack on Ukraine. They live poorly, they don't have toilets, they don't have medications for their people, they pay pennies for uh, pension, but they spend $1 billion a day on the ruining of Ukrainian infrastructure. That's how they hate people. And <clears throat> of course, uh, I don't know, I'm not an expert in that. I remember that when in the evening we found out that two missiles uh, fell on the territory of the Polish city that borders with Ukraine and is really closely located to Lviv. I know that many people were terrified because this is already a NATO territory and uh, people were waiting for the reaction. We all know about the fifth article and Biden d d escaped from a G20 meeting or something like that. So people were observing that it all very attentively, believing something major can happen and NATO can start a war. And I even remember people sending me messages like, oh, are you at the eve of the Third World War? Personally, I did not expect a huge NATO reaction because uh, it did look like something went wrong. And then uh, we uh, in the morning we have read that it might also be the Ukrainian air defense uh, missile that was targeted at the Russian missile but somehow fell on the territory of Poland. I don't know uh, which version is correct and as far as I understand the investigation is to come. But uh, Ukraine is 100% open for the investigation and everything needed. I think it is a possible version that it is an air defense uh, missile, but our president is 100% confident that it is not a Ukrainian missile. And there is still such possibility. I am not trying like to take blame from Ukrainians because once again, I believe it's not the blame that Russia is to blame in all of these problems because honestly, they hit 96 missiles and we protect our territory and we were asking for months to cover the sky above Ukraine and I think it would be a very wise decision that could help prevent accidents like that and the longer this war continues the more danger imposed 
on the territories around Ukraine and in the world globally because the crazier Putin becomes. He has to be stopped. We have to stop observing what will happen next because this can lead to a huge uh, nuclear explosion or to technological catastrophe or to missiles fire falling on some other NATO territories and uh, countries will have to react. So the president, together with some other officials, want this investigation to be open and they want to participate in this investigation. And of course, everything about Ukrainian air defense work will be open for the investigation. But somehow he is 100% confident that it is not the Ukrainian air defense missile. And then it has a very bad shade. Why? Because then this means that global society together with NATO want to like pretend that nothing happened. And uh, I'm also very much afraid that Russia is checking uh, NATO, Russia is checking uh, other countries' reactions. I have read a couple of articles in Ukrainian media. Once again, I'm not a supporter of conspiracy theories and it all may be very likely that it is a Ukrainian air defense missile that somehow um, fell on the territory of Poland, but still the investigation must be conducted. And then uh, there are some versions that Russia is trying its enemies, starting with NATO United Forces and finishing with each country of the European Union, Poland, Hungary and so on. Yesterday they have also attacked critical energetic infrastructure uh, that led to problems in Hungary and their super prime minister, sorry but I don't like Orban at all and I'm not going to pretend that I'm neutral or tolerant. Orban is a huge problem for Hungarians I believe, he smells like Putin and he had to stop pumping the oil and uh, somehow by hitting this uh, infrastructure on the object on the territory of Ukraine, Putin caused problems in the EU and in NATO countries and perhaps he was checking their reaction. How will they react? What will happen? And the second thing, it is also very likely that he is checking what will be their reaction for Poland. And uh, uh, well, then the reaction is not good, but, but maybe we have to wait and maybe more positive solutions will be made uh, in a hidden format or like not that openly. Maybe Ukraine will receive stronger air defense systems, more uh, accurate or long, long range uh, missiles that we need so much because they will help us to prevent such attacks. 96 missiles for $1 billion yesterday ruined lots of Ukrainian infrastructure objects, killed many people, uh, including two people in Poland, a NATO country. And it is all Russian war against the world, against normality, against democracy. Once again, I have to say that I'm really sorry for those two people who lost their lives because of crazy Putin's regime and the Russians who support him. This war has to be stopped. People don't need to observe and to see what will happen next. There are no safe territories as long as Putin is the president of Russia and as long as Russian society likes leaders like that. Somehow every 10, 50, 100 years they choose awful bloodthirsty dictators who cause millions of deaths either in their own country or all over the world too. And today Putin is a global threat. I do think he need to be erased from uh, the face of the earth. He must be found in his bunker and stopped. Of course, he is not the only problem. There are many others who support him and close the eyes on what he does, but something has to be done. And there are no safe territories on the planet as long as he is <clears throat> the so-called president of Russia. And uh, now many of uh, places in my city are without electricity. I know that the situation in the center and in the north is really complicated and you can never know what will happen next. But uh, we are very grateful for the countries who demonstrate their understanding and support. Once again, my gratitude and warmth to Poland, my subscribers from Poland, my friends in Poland. I love your country a lot. I have been to Poland many times and I hope I will be after the war.
Thank you for becoming my patrons, buying me coffees. If you like this video, like, share, and of course, subscribe to the channel as I believe people need to know more about this awful war and uh, Ukraine, the way we fight and the way we want to be and we have to be the shield of Europe. And uh, thank you for the support that you demonstrate to Ukraine. Speak to your politicians, speak about long range missiles, speak about uh, air defense systems, because we have to stop this uh, awful situation. We have to prevent all possible deaths caused by Putin's regime. Slava Ukraini!